Hello, you welcome to this demo video of our warehouse inventory management system developed in Microsoft Access with Visual Basic Language. Uh, this is a very amazing uh, system that we've made and I'd like to share with you all. Okay, so without not much I do, so we select our user. So I am logging in. I'll supply my details as requested here. Okay, so now welcome. All right, so guys, we will go to the home page. Once you come in here, you read. So we have the notes here that you can read to help you get things started out for yourself. Also, if you want to log out, you use this window. So now the first feature that we we'll actually explore. Uh, well, we just have to take note that uh, this is not a, a whole system for a warehouse, but it's only handles inventory. Okay, so what's special about this inventory system? So you know the operations of a warehouse very complex. So this system is uh, actually tailored in a way that you can, you'll be able to store products in multiple multiple locations. Yes. So going forward, I'll be making a video explaining to you how to do this in Microsoft Access. So now I'll click the user account to user. You click new. So let's say for instance I want to add a user called Benny. So I'll type in Benny's Mensa. So I'll say Benny. Benny is a username. Then one two three four. Okay, so once we done user type, I will say when Ben is an admin, so I will select Control S to save. Okay, so now our info is saved. We can print Benny's uh, profile information here. Okay, so let's take note of this Benny and password. So now it means that we can log out and then come back into the system as Benny. So we type Benny. So sorry, so Benny hit enter. So the username was Benny. And now password okay so we are correct welcome Benis. so now we are here you can see Benis's information also displayed here for you okay so that is the login systems now you first need to uh, set up the locations in your warehouse so these are all locations in the warehouse so currently we have six locations in the warehouse and locations are identified by the id and then the location name you can click here to insert the location picture okay so remove nest remove nest remove nest Okay, so we have six location currently. If you want to add a location, you simply click new. So once you click new, suppose you have a new location. So new, let's say TG, TG1. Okay, now we save. So the location is now seven, as you can see here. Okay, so you can click. Now let us put a pointer here and see something here. So proceed to view products in the warehouse. Yes, so you click this. Now you've been brought to... Uh, location and product so this data sheet here gives you all the products so let's see now once you select a location you see all the products that are currently in this location so the stock is and then the stock out and then a quantity at hand if you want to visit the products you click here now you can also display the summary for the product so you click here it will give you the, the summary of uh, this particular product Okay, you can also click here to view the stock history. So once you click here, you now have a stock history of this very product. You can click here to print preview. So uh, that is very amazing here. Okay, so let us go back. Okay, so for instance, if you view a different product, now you can see, sorry, location here. So these are all the products in the location. So now it is telling us that uh, for this location, total number of products items inside are 320. So if you want to visit, let's say Maggie Cube, you click here. This is Maggie Cube. You view. Now you can view the history. So this gives you the history, stock out and the stock in that you can actually print. Okay. So that is that about uh, product and then the locations. Okay. So now we go back. So we have the locations in warehouse. We've explored that storage units so if we are doing a stock uh, warehouse items are usually stored in units so you specify the units that the items are stored so now we have land row slate sheet box so now let me add another one so i'll simply come here and type in let's say box so let's say uh container so now you are done you can save so changes save successfully now we've added some unit types so how do you stock? If you want to stock, you simply go to inventory. Okay, so now once you come to inventory, uh, what you need to know is that, so we have the product and then the uh, locations. So before you can stock, you need to get the product code that you are going to stock and then it's very simple. So you simply click new transaction. So now new transaction, 
what is the product so we have the products names here so you click let's say this one so once you click this what is the transaction type so are you stocking in or stocking out so you are stocking in so what is the location so you are stocking in into which location and we have only one location for this product so it means that we can only store it in ae03 so what is the quantity so the quantity here let's say it's this now we are adding now we save so we've saved and then now should we display the logs we can see that we've actually done a stock of 30 for this very product okay so if you want to go to the products you click here so now you can view stock summary and now available quantity is 350 so view the stock history and you will see that the stock in that you did for today has also been registered successfully at the top here okay so let us try one more stocking in so new transaction so for this product so you can see this product is stored in multiple locations so these are the location for the product so what is the transaction type so we want to stock out this time round. so if you are stocking out which please we are stocking out from uh, ae02 and we are we want to move only 20 so if we click here now we save this very transaction so you can also click here and now this one gives you all your transactions and then you can also filter by products and on filter you can filter by this so if you want to see today so these are the transactions you've done for today okay so now let's go to the products so let's try to view the stock summary view here and now you can see that we've stocked out today 20 and then the quantity available is now 261 so we can exit now here okay so that is that about transaction uh that is that about the transaction okay so it means that this time around you can see that uh you just have to do in your inventory stocking in and stock out all in this window so if you're stocking in you click stocking or stock out and it deducts for us so you can also view inventory levels for all products you click here so now these are products and then their inventory level so we are in location aa01 you can filter these are the products levels for uh for all the products in that particular storage so this location for instance has only one product and these are the inventory levels so for instance this ae03 so these are all the products in store warehouse location ae03 and then their inventory level so quantity at hand is now 540 you can preview to print this at any point in time okay let me exit okay so we are gradually coming to an end we also have a feature here that allows you to move products back and forth or from one location to another location so that's move products okay so now let's say you want to transfer products from one location to another location yes so how do you do it for instance new transaction i want to transfer a product ro this product so outgoing so we are in the outgoing form so outgoing stock out now what is the location so where are you transferring it so you are transferring it to a03 now what's the quantity so let's say 40 so once you're done you save it okay so now you have to go to uh when you're done you click here so you click here then once you click here it comes to new transaction you come and accept the transaction here so now I select the products. This is the products. So, so this is the location and how quantity is 40. So now we save it. Okay, so you can display your locks as such also. Alright. So now should you go and display your inventory levels, you will see that uh, you will see all the stock histories. So you can see stock out on the same date, then stock in on the same date as well. Okay so uh like i said earlier on if you want to view your products in the warehouse you click here and now these are all the products that we have so you simply click new products so what is the product code so let's say y so let's say yt okay so yt9 what is the description you type description now units let me say container you can click here to add more units so once you're done so what's your storage location so i want to put it here so because only one location is open so if you want to open more let's say four then you type four so you can see four locations are opened now you add your products to the locations so you add your products to the locations and now once you're done 
you can save the records here so now let's say you want to do inventory so let's go back inventory so new transaction let's select that very product so now you can see all the locations of the products here so what the transaction type we are going to stock in and what's the stock location so we are stocking into let's say y04 so quantity let's say 400 and now you can see and once we save we simply go to the product review so available is 400 and the stock history now you can see we have only one item here okay so guys this will be the end of this very uh, demo video uh, if you need the source code of this uh, the source code you just simply contact me via whatsapp or email all right so thank you so much for watching i will also make a whole video explaining to you how to come by storing products in multiple locations or multiple inventory in microsoft assets thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next video bye